The next time you head to Circle Center Mall in downtown Indy, you'll see more stores and dining options. As Anna Chalker shows us tonight, the mall's VP says it can all be traced back to NBA All-Star Weekend. Those stores were all a part of the intersection here at the mall for All-Star Weekend, where you could have experienced food, drinks, and all things All-Star. And after that big turnout, they're here to stay. What was first planned as a pop-up for All-Star Weekend is now permanent. And as we look at the rest of the 2024 event schedule, it's really a great time for these retailers to set up shop right here in the heart of downtown Indianapolis. These new stores will get to experience every big event in Indianapolis. But there is some momentum as far as those that came in, particularly for that event, like what they uh, like what they saw here in terms of traffic and sales, and they're looking to stay here longer term. Shoppers can visit Elegance for men's dress apparel or hang out in the new retro arcade. There's also new food and drink options. Head up to the dining pavilion for boba tea, burgers, and clues brews, an indoor beer garden. Mall leaders say these stores are here to keep the energy of the intersection alive. That was the real legacy of the NBA All-Star event, was not just for that you know, three days in February, but really to put downtown Indianapolis uh, and Circle Center Mall back on the map for you know, the rest of a major slate of events in 2024 and, and beyond. You can visit Elegance, the Arcade, and the Boba Shop right now, but you'll be able to see Clues Brews tomorrow when they open up for the music series starting at 5. In Indianapolis, Anna Chalker, 13 News. And bigger changes are coming to Circle Center Mall in the coming years. As we first reported last December, the mall is getting sold. Partners for the Circle Center Development Company reached an agreement to sell their interest in the mall to Hendricks Commercial Properties. That's the company behind Bottle Works and Iron Works. That developer is going to spend $600 million over the next decade to complete this big project. You can see more of these renderings from the proposed redevelopment and more on the timeline. We've got it for you on WTHR.com.